to give me. Cool. What are you going to do with that? I get blown if I get lost. Oh, well, I don't think anybody's going to be getting lost because Mommy's going to be taking extra special care of you and Big Bear. Why can't you come too? Oh, honey, we talked about that. I'm going to go with you this time, and it's Daddy's turn next year. So, Sport, I bought you something for camping, but I left it in my car. I'll race you to the elevator. Oh, gosh, hurry! I'll race you. You better <laughs> run. <laughs> Here we go. Mommy, look, yeah. Daddy bought me a flashlight that doesn't need batteries. Oh, wow, it doesn't need batteries? It's got a uh, magnet inside of a wire coil, and it creates electrical energy. You know, it's the latest, greatest. Wow, can I see two? Well, it's getting late, so you know what? We better get going. Why don't you say bye to Daddy, sweetie? Bye, Daddy. Bye, big boy. You have fun on your camping trip with your mommy. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, RJ. Bye, Brooke. Hey. Hi, how's it coming? Well, the tents are all set up, and Oliver's dad is building a fire. Kids can't wait to toast marshmallows and tell ghost stories. Oh, great. Yeah, the only problem, the Snyder's tent has a big rip in it, which Betsy and Clay didn't realize till they unpacked it. So we're kind of short on tent space. Mommy, guess what? Mr. Menaces is letting us guys sleep in their tent. Us guys, meaning my son Matthew and their best bud, Charlie. It's okay, right? Yes, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. We're still down one tent, though. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll just sleep in the cabin, and the Snyders can use our tent. And if RJ gets scared, then... You know what, honey? I'll just put my sleeping bag out right here, and I'll keep the door unlocked. And if you need me, you know where to find me, okay? Thanks, Mommy. Oh, you're welcome, honey. I love you. 